All right, guys, we're doing What's it. What's up? We're back. God, that's going to trigger you in editing because I started slightly later. Either way, what's up, guys? Um, okay, yeah. Uh, so you just have to hit the button again. As soon as mine loads, I'll do the same thing. Wait, where did Because I expected it to start me over there. Oh, hey, did you actually get the same upgrade as me? That's funny. Unfortunately, you cannot skip that cutscene for whatever reason. There's a lot of cutscenes in this game that you think would be skippable. Yeah, I noticed you cannot skip, like, half the cutscenes in this game for no good reason. Like, I mean, I get it. They're in engine cutscenes as opposed to the little animation. Also, I just noticed the GameCube version has calling at weird spots. Well, like, it does. Yeah, that's, oh, that's pretty, pretty weird. Alright, so... I've never seen the calling before. Started with an early lead here. Yes, she did. It's probably only because we have the two versions side by side that you can notice it. Yeah, well, here's the thing like, the GameCube is a limited console in a lot of ways. There's... It's similar, technically speaking, to the original Xbox, so it shouldn't be that much weaker than that. But there's so little date on the disc that it's surprising how good some of the like ports go. Because you have to think, GameCube is working with like a third to a fifth of all the stuff. Are you going in there now? Oh, absolutely. I'm probably not going to go into the level, I'm just going to unlock it. Floating block challenge. Yeah, I'm just going to unlock floating block challenge and try to save that for an episode that I'm behind in. I try to do these kinds of challenges as they pop up. I try to play this game as though I'm playing it for the first time. So like anytime I see a challenge, I take it. Anytime the game offers me version two, unless it, I'm like really struggling with it, I'm gonna try and stick it out until I beat it. Okay. Thank you. Oh god, man. Plus I like these floating block challenges. I like the floating block challenges fine, but I suck at them. I need, like, a little bit of help since that one. Also, I'm gonna go unlock the, uh, challenge over here with Patrick before I even necessarily go to it, just because it's always nice to have these unlocked. You know? Which one? Because I forget, can you actually go to the Patrick Tun one yet, or do you have to get an upgrade first? I don't know what the challenge is. Uh, oh, Patrick gets steam. Crap! It's the one where Patrick's in the cave. I, I don't remember what that challenge is. Because I know there's a glitch that you can do with a SpongeBob. Is that the one where he has to, like, lick ice blocks? Yeah. Yeah, you should be able to do that. I couldn't remember because I know in the uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom, you have to unlock the ability to lick things, which is. You have to unlock the ability to lick. No! Not again! Ah! Damn it! And then, uh, Dad oh just comes God. in and he's all like, Where are you guys, like, got cords going? Dad, we're playing a game together. Like, yeah, I know. They, anytime they see any visible cords, like, why are there all these cords? And it's like, because things have to plug in somewhere and they can't just exist. Don't! Yeah, I think I will go back and do the thingy after I beat the level, but... No! Like, I'll do that challenge that you're in after I beat... Oh, come on. Patrick actually died there. That sucks. It's okay. I'm not done as well. I hate those rotating blocks. They're, they're the worst. The ice... See, the rotating ones are the fine. easiest. Now, you know what's the worst? What? The ones that, like, just don't. No, but, like, the ones that, like, flip in, like... That, like, do, like, several different directions, but the worst. I have two tokens now. How many are you at, Henry? Wait, two. How do you have two? Oh, yeah, you have two and I have two. Okay, so you just got your second? Yeah, I'm gonna go finish the level, get that token, and then I'm gonna go back for the challenge. Oh my god, that was a pain. Because I think it's gonna be slightly faster since I have to be swung about anyways. Or do I? No, I can just go in here as a path. Yeah, I'll just do that. 
So I'll have more of the level unlocked than you. Okay, you dumb butt. That was annoying. Did you die? No, but if I almost died because of a jellyfish I couldn't see. Did By I the kill way, all the enemy generators. Yeah, there's just those floaty guys. By the way, oh no, I died. Crap. You died. Yeah, I fell a couple times during that. I died within the first ten seconds of it. That was the sad thing. So I literally barely went backwards. It's just. I have to say, as soon as you get belly flop, though, so these wait, become so the much cave? easier. Where's the Patrick cave? So you have to unlock, like, the pathway forward. Yeah. Then, no, like, as in go out to the pathway forward, press that button, and then go the other way. Like, back towards the cave. Okay, good. Oh, it's over there with the box. Yeah, but you need so, to get Patrick first. That's fine. Patrick's just over there anyway. But I still unlocked it. Yeah. Because I think I'm going to do something. On yours, similar. it might be faster to uh, load it, honestly, than walk over there as Patrick. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Wait, no! If you load it, it resets your spindle bead. I think it does reset you to your spindle bead. I thought it would just do whoever the last character you play. I don't think it remembers that kind of information. Like, I can't. No! That stupid block! Yeah, I know. Those blocks are. <laughs> I also like how Sponge. Whoa, look! Uh, oh, yeah, if you get hurt by those guys, you do actually get a speed boost, so it is a viable strategy to just constantly be getting hurt by them. No, I was. No, that's not what I was saying. What I was saying is Patrick didn't get hurt, but he had the effect of being hurt. Oh, that's weird. It's because uh, I was hurt with SpongeBob when I went in the tent, and it carried over that property. That's neat. I bet it doesn't stay permanent. Yeah, I was like wondering that. how long it would last. Because if it stayed permanent, that would be amazing. Wait, that was close. The ice blocks are such a pain because as a kid, I always wanted to jump really far with it. And so I would always die on this just because I didn't know how to judge my distance very well with the clear ice. If ice would have just been yes. a solid white, it would have been Four. This one, four. Wait, is this four? Or three? three. 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 Yeah, three. Just three. Stop doing yeah, th thirteen. You should only have thirteen, Chip. Um, oh, Chips. Come on, die. Okay, three. Come on, die, Chip. I don't want to die. Die. I don't feel like it. Come on, die. I don't feel like it. Oh, thanks, die. I don't feel like it. Oh yeah, see, I automatically switch back to Spongebob, though, which is nice. I also like how when you're changing, they can't hit you. I kind of wish they could hit you just for the because... Just watch that animation. Yes! I got it! Okay, this is how this is Got it! Here. Yep, so you 14. still need to get the next one, though. That's fine. Okay, one, two... The fact is, I have a little bit of a lead, and that three. might be enough. Okay, that was weird. The whole game just glitched. I oh gosh, dang it. It's rub it up to the slap. I thought you liked this level. I have mixed feelings about it because I know that you're probably gonna win the first round of it. The second round, third round, fourth round, I'll probably win. The first round, you won. So, you're saying that this uh, race is suddenly more interesting. Yeah, because there's. It's definitely more interesting than the last time you Yeah, raced. because we're a lot more even now. And also, you remembered how to play after 10 years or something. Yeah, so there I, was like I a re 10 year dry spell. But so I relearned how to play, and on top of that, the biggest thing though was the fact that I was playing on the DVD recorder, and my DVD recorder had like something ridiculous, like almost 10 frames worth of input on that. So everything I did was like 10 frames behind. So like I would turn in anticipation of a curve, and I would end up hitting the wall because, well, I thought it was there. Like, I thought I was in the right spot, but I really wasn't. I mean, there's a chance you just amp up somewhere along the way and really get set back, but I don't know. This, this might be your episode. Yay! So we're just gonna keep handing off. Like, uh, you win, I won one, you win one, and I win one. It's all gonna come down to when we start doing, like, the later of these levels challenges, honestly. 
like the later slides are where it's gonna really ramp up the difficulty for both of us. Yeah, because I see I'm really good at the earlier parts of the game, but when it gets to the later parts, and also none of us are gonna do any good at a like I guarantee both of us are gonna be digging our eyes out as soon as we start up a bunch of it. Yeah, welcome to Pentopolis Minions, aka suck my wee wee minions. I'm actually surprisingly not that far behind you, despite how big of a lead you have coming into this. Assuming that you just die once, I have a few sections. Like, if you die on this part up here with the big circle after you hit the fourth one, there's a chance that I could come back and die. Uh, stupid but either way, we're fairly close to each other. So here's the other thing too, when it comes to this game especially. This is one of those games that I like to show people who have no idea what the sixth generation was all about. And they're like, well what game should I get? And I'm like a SpongeBob movie game. And they always go, but that's a licensed game. Isn't it terrible? Yeah, see, that's my biggest complaint, is people say licensed games are bad when... But really, I think the problem is they play the bad ones. Like, they, they find the ones that are bad, and then point to it and say, oh, all of them are bad. Statistically, I've only met one... Met, played one bad licensed game. Maybe two, if you count a uh, Spider-Man on Game Boy Color... Or on Game Boy Original, but I don't really find all that bad. But a lot of people. Oh no, that game is awful. But like, it's also a Game Boy game, so I just honestly have so many problems with it. I don't know. There's, there's oh, the very tilting garlic breads. I hate this part. See, that's what I was talking about. Is if you die on the garlic breads, or you just go the slow path and I take the fast path and actually manage it, I could catch back up. Okay, I'm off the garlic breads. See now, I just have to do the speedrunner garlic bread strat. I hate the garlic bread part. It's the worst. Where I go, hukkigia, hukkigia, fickle ham sandwich. Oh, I got it. Yeah, no, ah, oh, I died. So you win this round. Yes. I knew you guys. <laughs> Okie dokie, corral. <laughs> ah, that's funny. Yeah, you never noticed that. <laughs> uh, shout out to uh, my favorite Western movie, uh, which is about the OK Corral. Uh, what was it called? Uh, damn it, I forgot what it was called. Blazing Saddles? <laughs> no, it's not Blazing Saddles. Uh, Blazing Saddles is a like, comedy. No, I'm talking about like a serious Western. Oh, I know like serious ones. Uh, it, it stars like Val Kilmer and people like that. Oh, Mel Brooks? No, I don't think Mel Brooks is on it. Um, uh, what is that movie called? It's really good. Is it Tombstone, maybe? Oh yeah, Tombstone. Yeah, Tombstone. I think that's it. It's really good. Love that movie. Great western. But, yeah, okay. Looks like that's it for this episode, guys. Uh, some of these races are pretty short, I gotta say. Yeah. <laughs> well, we could have done ten. And I think five is a good is a good amount. It really is, especially on the later ones that do take quite a while. Yeah, I think five is a good amount. And as soon as we can both pause the game, we will yes. pause. Well, I mean, I've already blinked my screen, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, Patrick learned the ass bounce. Patrick earned the, uh... I like how they censor it, too. The <laughs> bounce. See, this game is so much better of a race game than a Flying Dutchman, though. Flying Dutchman, it feels like like Mario 64 when you're trying to race it. Yeah. The paddy wagon. Alright. Right. Wait, did I seriously not get the ass bounce? Hey, Mindy, what's up? Why did you, you got it. Oh, I guess I did. Alright, uh, we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.